welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be doing an easy level question. Lead code 766, Toplets Matrix. Given an M by N matrix, return true if the matrix is toplets, otherwise return false. A matrix is toplets if every diagonal from top left to bottom right has the same elements. Let's look at an example. So let's start at our diagonal here. Does this have all the same values? Yes, they're all one. Okay. What about this diagonal? 2, 2, 2 looks good so far. 3, 3 looks good. This diagonal 4, all 4s. This one 5, all 5s. And then this 9. So this one is a toplets matrix, right? What about this one? Well, we can see that this diagonal has a 1 and a 2. Therefore, it's not a toplets matrix because all the values on a diagonal don't have the same elements. So this problem is really straightforward. All we want to do is basically, oops, we want to kick off, you know, at each diagonal. We just want to keep going down until we hit the edge of our, the end of our diagonal here, which is going to be, you know, the last element in the bounds of the array. And we're going to just going to check whether or not all the elements are the same. And then we can just apply that function that we write to check all the elements to the next item. So we just check all of the starting, you know, row, and then we just need to check all of these columns. And that will be the same thing as checking, you know, all the diagonals. So, Let's go to the code editor and type this up. Again, this is an easy level question, not really too complicated. This is more for people who are just coming to the channel. Maybe they're just getting into lead code. They don't really know how a lot of the algorithms work. So this is just one for the beginners to lead code. So let's go to the code editor. We're in the code editor. Let's write the code. So we need a function that's basically going to tell us whether or not a diagonal is uni value. So let us define that function and then we'll use it um, to actually figure out whether or not we have a toplets matrix. So we're going to say def is diagonal uh, uni value, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to pass in the start of our um, diagonal here. So this will be the, the row in the column where the diagonal starts. So we're going to say row comma column. And what we're going to do here is we need the value there. So we're going to say matrix of row column. So that's going to be the value that we're going to compare all of the other values against. Now what we need to do is we need to essentially go down the diagonal. So going down the diagonal will be what? We will be increasing the row by one and then going to the right and then we'll be going to the column by one. So we're going to increase the row by one and increase the column by one each time until we're no longer within the bounds of our grid, at which point we stop our loop. So we're going to say while row is less than the length of the matrix. So length of matrix represents the amount of rows there are and columns is actually less than the length of matrix zero. This is going to oops, uh, matrix zero. This is going to represent the number of columns we have, because if you think about it, uh, the length of the matrix will be the number of, you know, lists of lists we have inside of our input. And that's going to define the number of rows and then the length of uh, matrix zero, so basically the length of the first list, or it can be any of the list, but we typically just use matrix zero, um, is basically the amount of columns we have, right? Because this represents the first column in the first row, second column in the second, in the first row, and on and on and on. So that's going to be our condition, because obviously, if we don't respect the, the rows, we're actually going to end up going out of the bounds, and then having an index error. So we're going to check if the value at our current row and column uh, does not equal to the value that we parsed originally as the start value for our diagonal, then we're going to return false because we found a deviation. We found a value that does not equal to, um, you know, whatever the value was we started with. Therefore, there is at least one value that's not equal to, um, you know, a value. So we don't have a uni value. Anyway, what we want to do is, like I said, we want to increment the row by one and we want to increment the column by one. And then what we want to do now is if we get through this entire thing and we haven't ever returned false, then therefore we must have a uni value matrix so we can simply return true. Now we need to apply this to all of the, you know, diagonal starts in our grid. So if you think about it, the diagonal starts are going to be one, two, three, four, because we go one, two, three, four, and then we also have five and nine. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to say, for the column, so we want to do the top row first. So for column in range uh, length of 
if I could just type today, length of matrix zero, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, if not is diagonal uh, uni value zero. So we wanna be starting in the first uh, row, which is going to be index zero, right? Uh, so for every value in the first row, we're going to go through all the columns and check those diagonals. So if any of them is not uni value, then we can simply return false because remember that that means uh, our matrix would not be toplets. So that's going to check all of the diagonals there. Now we need to check all of the rows in the first column and that would give us the remaining diagonals. So we're going to say for row in range from one to len matrix. And the reason that we go from one to len matrix is because we could check one again, but we've already checked it as part of our diagonal check on the first uh, row. Now that we're going through the column, we would be wasting time. So there's no reason to check one again. We can simply start at the first uh, row here and then you know check those diagonals. We don't need to recompute this because we already have. So we're gonna say if not is diagonal diagonal uni value value uh, what's gonna happen is we're gonna pass in the row because the row is changing this time but the column's gonna be zero because we're staying in the first column if any of those are not uh, uni value then we want to return false otherwise if we can verify oops these should not be indented I don't know what's going on uh, okay cool so we've unindented those uh, and then if none of our basically false is fired, then we can simply return true because the matrix is toplets. I just wanna make sure I didn't make any syntax, but, uh, oh, I forgot to pass in the column value here. Apologies. I passed in the column, but not, oh yeah, is uni, oh, okay. This is why I checked these things. And okay, cool. Apologies for that. So we submit it and it works once I got rid of those stupid bugs. So. What is the time complexity? Well, we need to check every single uh, element in this matrix in the worst case, right? The worst case is that it is a topless matrix, which means that we need to navigate through the entire matrix. So our time complexity is gonna be big O of M times N, because that's the dimensions of the matrix. It's an M by N matrix. For the space complexity, we don't define any variables to help us here. We do have like a value inside of is, uh, diagonal uni value, but this is a constant space allocation. We're not uh, declaring any other data structures. So we can say that it's a big O of one solution. So that is how you solve this question. Like I said, a little bit of an easy one to mix it up from the uh, hard problems that we've been solving. I do know that I have uh, mostly hard problems on this channel and there are people out there who are just coming to the lead code game and having um, some easy questions uh, in case they get stuck, it would be helpful for them. So. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. I have a ton of videos on my channel already and I plan to make a whole lot more. So subscribe so you don't miss those uploads. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching.